Here with our HP Pavilion 23, we're going to open up and explore the insides. Remember when you start, always put your computer or laptop on something soft, like a carpet, so you don't damage it or scratch it while you're moving it around. And we're going to flip to the back to remove a few screws and open it up. So now that we have it flipped to the back, put your stand down as there's one screw behind your stand and there's one screw on the left and right. So here's there's a screw behind the stand, I'm just going to show you now. These screws don't come off. When you unscrew them, they stay on. So after you loosen all the screws, it will create a gap between the back cover and the front where you will just put your hand in and lift it up. If you're finding it hard to remove, it means that you haven't unscrewed the screw properly. So just tilt it up slightly with one hand and use your other hand to unscrew the screw. So as you can see here, my left hand side did not I did not unscrew it properly so now it comes off easily so this is the hard drive there's one screw holding the hard drive down this screw doesn't come off as well There's an arrow there, if you can see it. It tells you the direction which you have to pull it. There's a handle here. You can use it to help you pull out the hard drive. So we're going to remove the DVD drive now. There's one screw holding the DVD drive down. And there's also an arrow there as well. It tells you which side you're supposed to push the DVD drive. This screw does come off. You're going to need need a star shaped screwdriver to remove a few things HP generally uses star shaped screwdrivers you don't have to use it you can use a flat head screwdriver instead I don't understand what's the point of it using star shaped screwdriver then giving access with a flat head so I'm going to remove the motherboard cover there's three screws holding it down this is where you're going to need your star shaped screwdriver to remove it and there's one on top as well the third one's up there there's a RAM cover slot here you can remove to access easy access to your RAM but even removing it it's it's a bit cramped and it's a bit hard to remove your RAM so just by removing three screws, you can remove the whole motherboard cover off and makes it a lot easier to remove your RAM. So now that I have removed the three screws, you just need to lift it up. The other side stays on. There are hinges, so when you tilt it up to a certain point, the hinges get loose. So here's the RAM. Push away the two sides and the RAM tilts up.
There's a graphic card under there. That's the wireless card. This is the heatsink where your CPU is underneath, and that's the fan. That's about it. This disassemble is relatively pretty easy. There isn't much screw. To reach my point, there's only actually four screws that come off. The other screws all stay on, so there's no misplacing or putting the wrong screw in the wrong place. You're going to need two types of screwdrivers for this, the Phillips head screwdriver, plus shape, and the star shape screwdriver. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.